In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a webinar presentation or a business presentation using OBS. Either you recording it or you live streaming that presentation to your audience, you're going to be able to use this free software called OBS. And of course, we're going to be importing your business slides or your presentation slides into OBS and have your camera so you can have multiple screens, be able to talk to your audience. And when it's time to do the presentation and show your slides, you're going to be able to do that. You're going to be able to have a scene where you also people can see you and see the presentation at the same time. So let's not take much time. Let's get right into it. All right, guys. So right now I have OBS. Again, this is not going to be an OBS uh, video. This is going to be focused more on bringing in your business or your if you're doing an online webinar or presentation kind of thing for your business uh, to be able to bring in those slides into OBS and actually show those to your audience. So we're going to be creating probably one or two scenes. Uh, and right now I have OBS opened. Uh, just to give you an idea, um, I have something that may, we we're going to be creating something that may look like this. It's going to be close to something like this. Okay. And um, of course, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and hide everything. And we're going to go ahead and create a new scene. Usually the first thing you want to create, usually I call it intro. This is a scene where you can actually display, you know, before anything happens. All right. It's called introduction or intro. Okay, again, you can create as many scenes as you want. This is just to give you an idea. So this scene, usually I'll go ahead and go under sources and then I'll go uh, add a media source. And that one is going to be uh, an intro. It could be an intro video or it could be uh, it's something that's looping says will be live in a minute. It could be a countdown timer. So this is going to depend on you, but it's going to be a file kind of video file or something. Okay. If you want it to loop, you can check to loop. But other than that, we're going to go ahead and hit browse. And then for me, I don't want it to loop. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in an overlay that I have here um, that has some of those, you know, be right back, starting soon, uh, countdown. I have a countdown here. This is what we're going to be using. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And basically, this is just going to count down until now you can customize it, make it look the way you want. If you need some overlays to use on your stream, by the way, I'm going to leave a link down below to a website called uh, Stream Tools where you can get different, uh, you know, overlays and, you know, countdowns and stuff like that. All right. So with this, usually you want to go ahead and add some music, obviously, because if you're not talking people, you don't want them to be watching just a screen. So you want to go ahead and add another source and then we're going to it's going to be a media source and then we call it music. And then I'm going to go ahead and click uh, uh, go here. And then again, for this, we want it to be looping because it's music. And I'm going to go browse, bring in some music. Make sure using music that you have rights to. Uh, and then I have some music from Epidemic Sound with commercial ra uh, rights. So I can use them commercially, no problem. I have a license. If you need uh, that music, link down below. You can check them out. It's an amazing service. I'm going to go ahead and pick a song that I like and then hit OK. And then my music is playing right now. Now, if to be able to monitor it, you always want to go here where it says three dots, go to properties, um, advanced properties, and then go to music under audio monitoring. You want to make sure you click monitor and output. So basically, this is going to allow you to be able to hear the music when you are live streaming or, you know, before you go live so you can know what's going on, what people are actually hearing on the stream. The next thing we're going to do is going to be the D scene where we're going to be adding uh, our camera and adding our presentation, of course. Now, when you do your presentation, some people will have the presentation kind of full screen. I'm not a big fan of that. I personally like to have a presentation in a small window of your camera. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a new scene and then we're going to call it um, uh, slide slides plus plus camera okay so this is kind of like your main scene all right and we're gonna be creating another one we we'll call it camera just where maybe before you start doing your presentation you can start talking and you're gonna be the one on screen actually let's create it as well so i'm gonna create a new scene i'm gonna call it main 
camera. Uh, these are these are going to be the basic things that you're gonna need to run this kind of presentation. Okay, so we have the main camera on the top here. So we started with the intro, and then we go to the main camera intro, and then we go to the main camera, and then we go to the slides and camera. So under camera, we're gonna go hit the plus sign. You wanna make sure you have either you have a webcam or any other camera connected via a capture card. Uh, it should show up here. So we're gonna go hit the plus sign and add video capture device and then for this we're gonna call it camera and then hit okay and then it's gonna show up usually under device depending on why you have your video uh your, your video capture device or your camera or your webcam is gonna show up here i'm gonna go ahead and choose mine and then make sure you go to custom under resolution and choose 1920 by 1080 and hit okay and then we have our camera now Usually you have some microphone connected. So we're going to go ahead and add the microphone as well, uh, you know, because we're, we're here. So we're going to go to audio input capture and add the microphone. So usually you'll go ahead and choose the microphone that you have connected to your computer. Mine, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the Osbat Tiny 2 microphone. That's um, it's uh, it's not working, but it's there. All right. I'm using the main microphone for something else. But it should, it, should, it should show up here. So I just want to make sure you know that you have to add your microphone as well. All right. Other than that, on the main camera, so really this is you, uh, right? You like you start the intro. After the intro, you go to the main camera. Again, I can just choose this transition intro, main camera. And then after that, you talk to your audience and then you introduce your business, whatever you're talking about. And then you go to the slides now for the slides i went to canva just um you know find a generic presentation kind of webinar slides and i downloaded them and i encourage you if you're not using canva you can make your slides in canva powerpoint any software that you want but i encourage you you download them right as png and right now i have them here available i'm gonna show you where they are I have a folder here called Modern Online Webinar Presentation, and I have all my slides here, one PNG1, PNG2, up to PNG10, okay? So they're all there and ready to go, all right? So that's what I encourage you to do. So we're gonna go ahead here, and then the first thing we're gonna go ahead and actually add our camera. So I can go to my first scene and copy the camera and the audio. Basically, I'm just hit Control and select both, hit Copy, and go to slide here and then paste and then i'm gonna make my camera a little smaller so I have my microphone and camera all right and then the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and add our slide so i'm gonna hit the plus sign and then i'm gonna go add a slide show image slideshow okay so i'm gonna go i can just leave it the way it is or you can name it whatever you want and then uh, let's just say image slide business and then we're gonna hit okay and then you want to choose a behavior visibility behavior always play even when not visible so you want to make sure um for me i like to pause when not visible so when something goes wrong nah, 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 you want to make sure it just gonna pause whatever slide that is on screen slide mode you don't want it to be automatic you want to control it manually so we're going to go ahead and choose the manual and then you can even use hard keys i'm going to show you how to set that up and then transition, you can make it fade. I like to swipe, just, you know, give it a little bit of movement. All right. And then uh, the next one, uh, the timing, you can leave it the way it is. Loop, uh, you want to make sure you uncheck loop because you don't want them to loop. You want to control them. You want them to happen when you want them to, ha to, to play, right? And then what we're going to do here is I'm going to go here. Uh, bounding size aspect ratio, you want to keep it at 1920 by 1080. And then I'm going to hit the plus sign here and then add files. And then we're going to go to our folder, which is here. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to go ahead and select all of them at the same time and then open and then boom, as you can see, they show up here. No problem. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then here, what I can do, I can actually resize them and then make them look like this. You know, uh, we're going to work on that for sure. All right. But as you can see right now, if I hit this arrow, you can see that I can change my slides. OK, so now we have our slides inside uh, OBS. What we're going to do is we want to make sure we actually make it look good because right now it doesn't look good. So we're going to do first, we're going to change our background. And then second, we're going to 
you know, style it to make sure it looks good. And then third, we wanna uh, want to assign a hard key. So like some, maybe some arrows on our keyboard. So when we change, we wanna go to the next slide or the previous slide, we can just use a button on our keyboard, all right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit the plus sign again, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the media source. And then I'm gonna call it an overlay. Basically, this is just to add the background. And then, um, because uh, I already had one that I added before, I can go ahead and add existing. But if I didn't, you can use, you can go ahead and just browse into your computer and find one. All right. So you want to make sure also you make it loop. So it's already looping. So if I go to properties, you can see that it's actually looping. This is a moving background. You can use like a static background. You can use a picture. You can use anything you want really. And then you want to make sure you put underneath, right? So right, right now you can see that it's actually having nice looking better. The next thing we need to do, we can go ahead and actually lock it so we don't move it by accident. The next thing we, we need to go ahead and hit uh, command or alt on our keyboard and then resize our camera, just crop it a little bit, something like this, and then move it out of the way, put it somewhere here, all right? Also, because we want people to see our presentation nice and big, we can make it a little bigger just like you know make your camera a little smaller because at the end of the day you want people to focus on the information not your face all right so you want to make sure the presentation looks a little bigger so people can read and see why you're presenting so to me this looks really good and i'm kind of satisfied with the way it looks all right again you can tweak it make sure it looks the way you want and as you can see now the only problem, if I hit on my keyboard, I cannot control. So to be able to control this, I always have to use this like arrow. I have to make sure the mouse is on the, uh, you know, on the uh, source, the slide source. And then I'm pushing like, you know, changing slides. So what you need to do is you want to go ahead and set up some hard keys. So like you can control the presentation with your keyboard. So we're going to go to settings and then we're going to go to hard keys and then you can go ahead and just filter just type in slide all right slide uh slide and as you can see you're gonna get this one right here that says slide and camera uh but we have another one here so this is the one that i created before but we have this one so you want to make sure you see the right source so the source that we have here is called slides and camera which is the one that we have here in obs so under this, it says you have a few options, show image slide, hide image slide. We don't need this one, but we need this one right here that says um, next image, next slide, previous slide. This is the one that we need. Okay. So I can go ahead and delete this one because I had, it, I had used it before. So I'm just going to remove it. I don't want it to be confused. So now we can go here. And then what you need to do is you want to go to your keyboard and then choose the key that you want to display. So in my case, I want to make sure I use the, you know, the back and forward key on the keyboard. So for next, I'm going to go ahead and hit that one. And then for previous, I'm going to go ahead and hit the back forward kind of arrow key and then hit apply and then hit OK. So right now, if I hit my key, as you can see now, I'm changing my slides. Okay. Just want to show you a little quick. All right. So you can go back and forth again. You can go back here and then go to properties and you can change the type of transition. If you want it to cut or fade, they say if I want it to fade, as you can see, if I go forward, it's just going to fade. So you can tr change this transition as you wish. Again, I like the kind of slide transition because, again, this is a slide. So I can go ahead and go back to... I can even use swipe. Swipe, it still looks good. All right. So right now, this is what it will look like. Okay. So <clears throat> we go to our intro. After the intro, we go to our main camera. Right, we talk, we talk, and then when it's time to do the presentation, we like, okay, let's switch this one to this uh, slide, uh, kind of slideshow kind of thing. And then we have a picture, we talk to our audience, and then boom, 
you know, we'll be like, hey, na na, and then we, we go through all the points. And then whenever you want to switch back to the main camera, you can go back to the main camera and like be talking, blah, 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 blah. And then go back here and then go back to our presentation, something like this, which is super, super awesome. So guys, this is how you can run your presentation like a pro. Uh, if of course using OBS, OBS is a free software. Once you're done, all you gotta do is you wanna go to settings, of course, and you can go ahead and choose which streaming software you wanna stream to. If you wanna stream to YouTube, Facebook, whatever, anywhere you wanna stream and you're gonna be able to stream whatever we have here in OBS. You can even tweak it, make it look like this. So look at this, make it look like this or this you know or get this scene right here you know you can even add live comments you can even create like add different overlays and share your screen you can add so many cool things if you want to play back a local video you can do that if you want to react to a video maybe from online or you want to share your actual screen instead of having a slide you can still do that and make a super super powerful presentation for your business that's going to convert, get you leads and get you clients, of course. So, but since I cannot cover everything in one video, I invite you to check a link down below where I actually invite you to come and work with me in a master class that I actually called live streaming that sells. If you're into business, you're doing an online business and you wanna make powerful presentations, you wanna make sure you check that master class cause I'm gonna show you everything that you need including multi streaming to multiple platforms to be able to increase your reach or streaming in vertical and horizontal mode at the same time so many cool things you can do to be able to attract more leads and more clients to your online business so make sure you check out the link down below but other than that if you want to see how i build all the scenes in obs uh, more than what you just saw i have another video that will show you step by step how to do exactly that and i'm gonna link it right here check it out and i'll see you there guys Take care.